Hi everyone, Don Genova here with another Foodie Friday for Russell Books. It is only Wednesday this week, but I thought I would give you a couple of extra shopping days to get those last minute gifts done up right from the shelves at Russell Books. So this is the time of year your appetizer game has to go into high gear because yeah, you can have turkey, you can have mashed potatoes, you can have ham, but what people are going to remember are those special appetizers. And I found a book at Russell Books at a really great price. It's called Antipasti, Fabulous Appetizers and Small Plates by Joyce Goldstein. And I immediately looked through this book and I came up with three different recipes to make. And um, a couple of them involve shrimp. And the first one was um, shrimp with a pea puree that you can serve in a little glass. Very easy to make, very beautiful. And the other recipe I came up with uh, in here is prosciutto wrapped shrimp with warm chickpea salad. And this is uh, very easy to do. Again, very flavorful and easy. The recipe says, you know, boil your own chickpeas. You can just use a can as well. And you can use prosciutto. So just like this prosciutto that I have here. This is if you really want to up your appetizer game. You can uh, find something like this and carve it yourself. And that, or you can just buy some, uh, some prosciutto at a uh, local deli, charcuterie, salumist. And the last thing that I made uh, from here, uh, biscotti de parmigiano, parmers and crackers. And these are really simple to make. It's kind of like making a cookie log, except you're using parmesan cheese and you're using some black pepper. Very tasty and go great with some prosciutto. So that's uh, Joyce Goldstein's Antipasti Fabulous Appetizers and Small Plates. Along with your antipasti, which is just means appetizers in Italian, you want to get some drinks on the go, and that's where the five bottle bar comes in. This book is by Jessica Schacht, and Jessica is one of the movers and shakers at the Ampersand Distillery in the Couch and Valley. It's a simple guide to stylish cocktails, and she says all you need really are five bottles to get started with. You've got uh, dry martini, uh, uh, rather, you've got dry vermouth. You've got sweet vermouth, the red one. You've got Campari, which is kind of bitter. And you've got gin and you have whiskey. And that, along with just a couple of other things uh, that are easily findable these days, easy to make some really great uh, cocktails. The one that we enjoyed from here is called the Bee's Knees. Simply gin, honey, and lemon juice. Fantastic, brisk, fresh combination. So you've done all the cooking and cleaning, and you want to sit down with a couple of books. If you've ever admired or wondered about Anthony Bourdain, I recommend getting this uh, biography of Anthony Bourdain. It's called Down and Out in Paradise, The Life of Anthony Bourdain by Charles Learson. Uh, he's kind of an investigative reporter. He really got to the bottom of, or tried to get to the bottom of what was happening to the life of Anthony Bourdain. Celebrity chef, TV star, sadly passed away, surprising some people, not surprising other people. He really had interesting access to Anthony Bourdain's laptop to find out what was going on in his life. That way, he interviewed dozens of people. Very fascinating read for those interested in the life of a chef. And here's a photo of me and Anthony Bourdain. Uh, first time that I interviewed him, I was lucky enough to interview him twice in my career, and it gave me some insight into his career and how things changed for him as, be as he became more and more popular. Uh, finally, from an autobiography or an unauthorized biography to more of an autobiography, a memoir, it's uh, called Cooking Tips for Desperate Fishwives by Gabriola Island-based author Margot Fedorik. And Margot grew up on the prairies. She moved to the West Coast. She ended up marrying a sea urchin diver which is a really intriguing kind of career to be in. And uh, certainly Margot went up and down on the tides of uh, being married to a sea urchin fisherman, sea urchin diver. And uh, this is some really good stories that she collected over the past 30 years. Great to see them all collected in once, in, in one go. And also great to see a whole pile of recipes in here as well. And uh, of course, some of them are seafood, but uh, I think you'll enjoy them but you'll enjoy the stories even more. So that's the books that I recommend for purchase at Russell Books just before you get into the holiday season. 
Remember, please try to be reasonable with your consumption of food and alcoholic beverages over the holidays. I'm going to take a couple of weeks off. So that's it for this edition of Foodie Friday for 2022. And I'll see you back here in 2023. I'm Don Genova. Bye for now.